Agent Romanov. You miss me? Oh yeah, Charles. We got ourselves an X-Men fan. Captain. Yeah, Captain. Big fan. Spider-Man. Hey guys and welcome to Film Artsy, your number one source for all things films and movies, and we've been following Thor 4, also known as Thor Love and Thunder, since its announcement a while back. And it's been incredibly exciting to know that the movie is in full production, with a lot of filming and other things for the production going on in Australia at this time, and we've gotten a bunch of really interesting first looks behind the scenes of some of the characters and actors and just different costume sets that we're going to be seeing in this new film that have leaked online already, along with some really interesting things that have been popping up on social media from various actors set to appear in this film. So there's a lot to unpack and a lot of things with this movie fully going into production that's really interesting, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. But first, we wanted to give a quick reminder, we do have a really awesome Instagram page that updates you guys on everything happening Marvel immediately. So if you guys want to follow us on Instagram, check it out, link in the description. There's also a ton of really awesome memes and other things that are posted on there. So make sure you guys are following that page and let's go ahead and jump into this story. Now starting things off, we've already tracked a lot of various actors that have been showing up for different set shoots and other filming things. We've seen Chris Pratt behind the scenes. We even got a look at one of the costumes that Thor, Chris Hemsworth, worth is going to be wearing in this new film and more recently we actually got a very interesting first look of Tessa Thompson, who will be reprising her role in this film as the character Valkyrie, though with a brand new look that still fits very much into the overall aesthetic that is going into Thor Love and Thunder. It definitely still feels like that Ragnarok vibe and that Ragnarok feel, but maybe with a little bit more of an 80s rock aesthetic thrown in there as well. And so far, it's looking really awesome. And while Tessa Thompson is sporting a classy look for this film, it does look like her horse that appeared in Avengers Endgame will also be returning to this film in one way or another, which should be really cool to see. Now on top of everything else, last week there was a little bit of buzz surrounding Thor Love and Thunder because of a little bit of drama surrounding a party that Chris Hemsworth was a part of. It looks like it was an 80s themed party and a ton of celebrities were there not wearing masks, such as Matt Damon, Idris Elba, and a ton of other people who are set to also appear in Thor Love and Thunder. Now, the main defense around the party is the fact that a lot of these people are actors involved in current productions, meaning that they've already had to submit various tests to prove that they're COVID negative before they even can go into production, so it's likely a safe environment, though it's been really interesting to see some of the people who attended these parties. <laughs> For instance, Matt Damon is set to have a small role in the upcoming Thor Love and Thunder movie, reprising his role as the actor who played Loki. Now, we looked at set photos last week where we saw him reprising his role alongside Chris Hemsworth's brother, Liam Hemsworth, who plays the actor for Thor, and Melissa McCarthy, who is going to be playing Hela, or the actor playing Hela, in the upcoming film. But then, of course, Idris Elba, who is on set filming a different movie in Australia, was also at this party. And we know Idris Elba played Heimdall in the first four movies and even into Avengers Infinity War. And it is interesting he was at this party and though he is good friends with Chris Hemsworth and whatnot, it has risen a lot of suspicion that potentially he could be set to reprise his role sometime in the future in this upcoming film or maybe they're going to do some sort of flashback sequence with this character. Whatever it might be, we are really incredibly excited to see the possibility of Idris Elba returning. We can see various videos and images of him from this party with his other co-stars and it's really funny to see. Matter of fact, during this celebration that Chris Hemsworth and Liam Hemsworth were at, there were tons of videos that were posted on the social media looking like overall 
despite the fact that everything can be crazy in the world and they're still trying to film movies and whatnot, throwing an 80s inspired party, especially with the fact that they're doing Thor Love and Thunder almost with that 80s rocker tone, does seem really interesting and some of the behind the scenes videos that we have seen have been really cool to see. We've also seen a lot of Chris Hemsworth online lately posting various videos of him just having a good time. For instance, there are some videos of him when he was golfing, which were kind of interesting. Glorious dive for a hit of golf. Here we go. Not be best shot. Have another go. He did not look fluid. <laughs> What? We've also seen Chris Hemsworth kind of become a really big icon in the face of working out when it comes down to a lot of people who are looking to get in shape during this time of the year. And a lot of workout videos that Chris Hemsworth has starred in have kind of been resurfacing and recirculating, showing off how Chris Hemsworth gets in shape for his role as Thor in these movies. And there's been a lot of talks actually, even with Chris Hemsworth's body double, who said that he's even struggled keeping up with Chris Hemsworth during the time where he's bulking up for a lot of the roles that he's set to appear in. So it will be interesting to see how this ends up playing in the upcoming film. Here we are guys, as promised, the home workout that Zoc and I have designed. If you've got some, uh, some dumbbells, fantastic. If not, get creative. We've got some laundry detergent here. Basket full of washing, dumbbells, so pull them out. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Up, 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 up. Get a chair here, we do some, uh, some, some dip, all sorts of things. So, get ready. We're going to do six rounds, six <laughs> exercises. It really hurt. Six <laughs> different exercises. Come on, let's go. 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 What are you going to do with? I'm getting the dumbbells. Ready? Dumbbells, mate. You've been standing on them. Aye, aye, aye. All right. Ready? Let's, let's get up there. Good. Six reps. Let's go. Come, Come on, go. Boom. Let's go. Oh. Push, come on, push. Ah. Up, 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 up. Oh, oh, the deep burn. Come on. Push, push, one more. Oh. Squats. Take the lower body, let's hit some squats. Squats. Squats, squats, let's go. Laundry squats, yeah. Go on. Here we go. Laundry chest, come on. This will be the cleanest workout we've ever had. <laughs> Classic. And one. Up jumping squats. And two. Oh. And three. Come on. Ah. And four. You know what? I want to go back. I want to go back. Let's go. Come on, Hemsey. Come on, mate. Please, please, please. Hey. Come on. Come on, let's go. Come on, Zop. Do some work. Push, push, push. And then finally, on top of everything else, we did get a first look at Natalie Portman going behind the scenes to film some scenes as Jane Foster, giving us our first look as to how this character will look in some scenes at least in this upcoming film. Now we do know it's likely that she will jump into the role of the mighty Thor at some point in the film, though it is interesting to see how they're going to put Jane Foster back into the spotlight and back into being a main character after this little hiatus with this character where we haven't seen anything new in quite some time. Nonetheless, it is really exciting to see this movie. It looks like it has a very large cast already with the likes of the Guardians of the Galaxy, Thor, and some returning characters like Natalie Portman's Jane Foster, along with a villain played by Christian Bale on top of it all. It's going to be a really action-packed movie, and we're really incredibly excited to see how this ends up turning out especially with how good Thor Ragnarok was and how well it was received by the fans and how it definitely changed the tone for the future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe and some of the more light-hearted stories that have been introduced over the years. Yes, yes. We're getting us out of here. It's a terrible, awful place. You can love Asgard. It's, it's big, it's golden, shiny, old, stern. No, no, no. My, my people need me to get back to Asgard. We must prevent Ragnarok. Ragnarok. The prophesied death of my homeworld. The end of days. It's the end of everything. <sighs> So what do you guys think of this upcoming movie? Are you excited about it? Do you think Thor Love and Thunder may be the best Thor movie we've seen to date? 
Let us know what you're thinking in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on for more videos just like this. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video. We also know that actress Tiona Paris will be starring in Captain Marvel 2. So it's already looking like a lot of the cast that was in this television show are already set up to do other things for other stories in the greater Marvel Cinematic Universe, and it would be very unlikely for us to expect a WandaVision Season 2 at least anytime in the near future, as a lot of these characters are branching off to go in other directions. And we've even seen Kevin Feige talk about WandaVision specifically, and said that for the most-